What's up everyone? I'm Trent and in this video I'm going to review the 2022 Alpaca Valkyrie Packraft. Let's get to it. This boat is possibly Alpaca's worst kept secret. In 2020, they teased the prototype of this boat with media of some of their team paddlers running some big drops. In 2021, they released a very limited batch to paddlers on a wait list for the boat. And just this year, after lots of feedback from last year's paddlers, they've tweaked this boat and released it as a custom model. So I've basically been waiting for this boat for two years now, and I'm stoked to finally have my hands on one. Here's a disclaimer, I'm not an Alpaca team paddler, and I paid full retail for this boat. So this review isn't going to be biased by free gear. That said, this boat is hands down the most advanced inflatable on the market. From its extreme bow rocker to its flattened stern profile, uh, this is an inflatable that was designed to emulate modern whitewater creek boats. This boat features a massive amount of bow rocker. This keeps the bow high and dry rather than plugging. It helps you ride over the top of waves and holes, and when you combine this with the flattened stern, you have a boat that actually skips out of the landing of big drops. Again, this is pretty epic for an inflatable. On the bottom of the hull, Alpac has changed their standard floor material to a different fabric that is much less sticky than the old floors. This is huge news for folks that like to paddle low volume creeks. This floor allows the boat to slide over rocks much better than any other Alpaca boats. It is still an inflatable and it still gets stuck, but it's a huge improvement over their other models. Now, after three days of low volume paddling with lots of long slides, I've already got a noticeable wear point right here under my heels. So this hull isn't bulletproof, uh, but it's nothing that a patch can't fix, hopefully. It also has a full length inflatable floor that comes down below the side tubes. This creates an actual chine that you can put the boat up on edge with. Other alpaca boats and most inflatables feature a flat floor attached directly to the side tubes, making them very difficult to edge because there isn't any secondary stability. The Valkyrie is super stable on edge, letting you cut across currents and make eddy turns like a kayak. It also has a continuous rocker profile along the bottom of the hull, which is another feature exclusive to this boat. This helps the boat to build speed and also helps with skipping out of the landing of big drops. The side tubes are super small diameter to help make the boat easier to roll and allow for that edging ability. This boat is relatively easy to roll for a pack raft, thanks to those small side tubes and flattened stern. You don't really have to lean back on the back deck like you do with most pack rafts, but I've found you do need to use a lot more upper body than you would, say, rolling a kayak. In the cockpit, this boat has the standard four-point thigh straps, a foot bag, and a small seat. What's new in here is the full-length floor with a heel cutout. This gives the boat a lot of rigidity and really improves the handling while maintaining a kayak-like paddling position. The back band is also new and features a single strap attached to aluminum adjustable toggle on the back. I'm running mine upside down to keep the seat from slipping down when I get in the boat. The cockpit combing is the regular 3 8 inch PEX pipe. This boat only has one zipper to insert the combing, which saves a little weight and kind of eliminates a redundant part. I'll be honest, I was a little disappointed that this super high-end boat shipped with the standard uh, alpaca skirt, which is basically a glorified trash bag. I didn't blow the skirt on small to medium drops, up to about 12 feet, but I wouldn't want to run an actual waterfall with this lightweight skirt. Now, Alpaca is currently working on a heavy-duty skirt for this model, but they don't have an estimate of when it will be available. For safety features, this boat comes with two built-in handles on the stern, which are super nice, a tiny D-ring at the back, not sure what you're supposed to do with that, and two loops on the bow to rig up a bow handle. For accessories with this boat, I added the small internal storage sacks, which are the correct size for these small tubes, and the lap bag. This is a new accessory that eliminates the need for a deck bag, which really makes most pack wraps handle poorly. The new lap bag attaches with a small rubber toggle to the front of the seat, so it sits down inside the cockpit and lets you keep uh, your essentials with you, but keep the weight down low and not up on your bow. On the stern of this boat is a pretty short tie zip, so make sure you test that your pack fits inside before you go out on an expedition. Inside, the boat has new zippered sleeves that help shape the stern when it's inflated. You unzip them to put your gear in the tubes and then you zip them back up. This boat comes with the standard Alpaca one-way valve and the inflation bag. I also got the Packa pump, which is new to me. This uh, basically lets you top your boat off on the water without giving yourself an aneurysm. 
Alpaca advertised this boat as weighing around 15 pounds, and this size large with the combing skirt and inflation bag comes in under 13.8. On the water, this boat handles amazingly well. It edges, carves, rips into and out of eddies, and skips out of drops. Like most pack wraps, it boofs really well because it's so light, but unlike other pack wraps, you can easily boof it up on edge. When landing from big drops, that continuous rocker profile helps the boat to resurface bow first and somewhat flat. It does still fold when landing bigger drops, especially if you try to plug them. The full length floor helps with that, but it doesn't eliminate it completely. The way I see it, this boat has two audiences. Kayakers who are interested in having an ultralight boat for remote backcountry missions, like me, and pack rafters who feel limited by the current whitewater models available on the market. Neither of those user groups are very big. That's why Alpaca is making this boat as a custom model in small batches and doesn't have it listed on their website. If you want to get your hands on one, send an email to workshop at alpacaraft.com and they'll let you know when they're going to make the next batch. There you have it, folks, the 2022 Alpaca Valkyrie. It is without a doubt the most advanced inflatable kayak ever made. If you enjoyed this video, give me a subscribe and go follow me on Instagram at Left Coast Adventure. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the river.